Welcome, in front of me is a Vivo Y20S and today I'll show you how to transfer files from the phone to an SD card and vice versa. So to get started, let's go to our files application, which for me is right over here. And from the applications, you want to scroll down and you should see your two storages. So we have the internal and the SD card. Now, if you don't see them right here, simply tap on the uh, the three dots from over here and you should see a pop-up with a show storage devices so exactly opposite of what is, is showing for me right now that's because well they're already visible once you tap on it your storages will appear at the bottom so from there i'm gonna go to the internal storage and give you a quick overview of the folders uh, at least the most important ones so and there will be the dcim downloads and pictures folder DCIM will contain photos and videos captured with the device itself. Downloads folder will contain obviously anything that you have downloaded. And then pictures usually contains screenshots. I'm saying usually because sometimes our phone just saves screenshots to the DCIM folder as well. And rest of the folders are primarily empty, assuming you haven't downloaded some kind of app that will be able to save to those folders or you haven't placed there something yourself. Um, so from there, let's find our files, which I'm going to use the three photos that I have right here as an example. Uh, the process works exactly the same way for anything that you want to move. That'd be folders, documents, uh, files, uh, movies, whatever it is, it works the exact same way. And to get started, once you find your files, simply hold a single file. So for instance, I'm just going to select one. Once you hold it, after a second, it becomes selected. And then you also have these circles next to the rest of the files that are in the same location. So you can tap on them to add them additionally to the first option that was selected. So that is one way you can do it. Or you could also select the entire folder that will include everything that is inside of it as well. Now, whichever way you select your files, it's completely up to you. I will also mention that there is an option to select all if you want to, which sometimes might be a little bit quicker for some people if they want to for instance select majority of the content of this folder but not everything so you could do something like this select single file tap on three dots select all and from there deselect files that you do not want so that is just a little bit of a tip right here but once you have them selected all you need to do is again tap on the three dots and choose to either move it or copy it now obviously move will completely remove those files from here while copy will create duplicates and allow you to paste those duplicates in a new location now for this purpose i'm going to go with move and once you choose one of the options it will bring up a window at the bottom and from here you can choose where you want to move them so you can change the locations of them on the internal storage which is which is where they are right now or move them to a different location uh, meaning on to the sd card which that is what I'm gonna choose, the SD card. So just tap on it, and once you choose one of them, you will have basically the entire structure uh, folder of that uh, storage. So from here, you can navigate to a specific folder if you wanna move it somewhere specifically, uh, or if you don't wanna bother with it, you can just simply drop it smack in the middle right here. So let's continue, uh, allow, allow, and it will begin transferring to files. So now if we go to the SD card, you should see those photos right at the bottom and there they are so that is how you would move any kind of file and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching